Hi, this is Hank Hennegraff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible and Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged short. It's early in the morning, and I'm, I'm in my office reading a New York Post story about a former U.S. Army officer who was part of a volunteer rescue team, a rescue team that is seeking to, to save at-risk Americans stuck in Taliban-controlled Afghanistan and is now reporting that, that extremists have beheaded two young boys, one boy age nine, the other boy age 10. Jean-Marie Thrower, who, who stayed behind in Afghanistan to help those left behind escape, is also now reporting, reporting that the Taliban have been killing off Christians with alarming speed. Now, I'm thinking about this story, and, and the first thing that comes to my mind is, All of this should not come as a surprise. People are shocked when they hear these stories, and and perhaps justifiably so, but but Sharia is rooted in the words of Allah, is unalterable, and thus it embodies the will of God for every aspect of society, past, present, future. And there's no real distinction allowed in in the the dogma between between Sharia and state, Sharia state, state is Sharia, and Sharia Sharia mandates proactive and perpetual war against Jews and Christians, and this is the consensus of Muslim jurisprudence which in concert with the will of Allah mandates war as a religious duty because of the universalism of the Muslim mandate to convert everyone to Islam by either persuasion or by force. I'm thinking even as I'm saying this, a lot of people are going to doubt that what I'm saying is true. And if you find yourself in that category... If you doubt what I am saying, simply find a Quran and read it for yourself. Read Quran 2, where fighting is prescribed for Muslims. Read Quran 4, where Allah is mandating Muslims to slay Christians wherever you find them. Or read Quran 98, where Christians and Jews are, are characterized as the worst of creatures. Here's, here's the thing I'm driving at. I think there's a collapse of clear thinking about Islam in Western regions. Thousands from, from Afghanistan are now entering the United States of America without a rational clue on how to vet these people and to suggest that terrorists are embedded among them is hardly unwarranted. Of course, our borders are equally porous and they're opening up the West to the same sort of terror that Afghanistan is presently experiencing. And by the way, if you want to know what creeping Sharia is like in the modern world, you don't have to look any further than Brunei. That's in uh, in, uh, uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, In Brunei, you have the Sultan of Brunei instituting such draconian measures as the cutting off of hands for property offenses. And uh, not only that, but converts from Islam to Christianity, according to modern-day Sharia, is punishable by, by beheading, hanging, or stoning. And this is not, as most news pieces suggest, radical Islam. This is run-of-the-mill Islam. There's more than 
One and a half billion Muslims worldwide, a majority who are affirming the principles and precepts of Sharia. So what I'm talking about here is near universal acceptance across Muslim demographics. I'm opening up my book as I speak to a a pure report. I'm talking my book, uh, Muslim, What You Need to Know About the World's Fastest Growing Religion. On page 60, I have this Pew report, and let me see if I can read it. By the way, you can look it up for yourself. It's uh, titled, The World's Muslims, uh, colon, Religion, Politics, and Society. And this report is now documenting that solid majorities in most of the countries surveyed, most of the countries across the Middle East and North Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, South Asia, Southeast Asia. They favor the establishment of Sharia, including, and here are the percentages, 71% of Muslims in Nigeria, 72% of Muslims in Indonesia, 74% of Muslims in Egypt, and 89% of Muslims in the Palestinian territories. Cumulatively, that's some 50 million Nigerian Muslims, 150 million Indonesian Muslims, 60 million Egyptian Muslims, and another 4 million Palestinian Muslims. And all we're talking about here right now is Nigeria, Indonesia, Egypt, and Palestine. The Pew Report also includes data on every nation with a Muslim population of more than 10 million, except, here are the exceptions, Algeria, China, India, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. The takeaway is that it is plausible to assume that similar proportions of people in those majority Muslim countries, the countries that I just mentioned are not surveyed in this Pew report, they also support Sharia. And therefore, it is safe to say that most Muslims worldwide want Sharia more than than eight. Hundred million. I suppose the takeaway from this Hank Unplug short is that Islam is spreading rapidly. The terror that is taking place in Afghanistan is, is beyond description. But that terror is being imported to Western regions as well. Muslims are committed to Sharia. Every Muslim is is committed to the way of Muhammad. There are no exceptions. That is what it means to be a Muslim. The question I want to leave you with is this. Are you committed to the way of Christ? The Christ who said, all authority in heaven and earth has been given unto me. Therefore, go make disciples of all nations. But but how do we do it? Through beatings and stonings and beheadings? No. It's never by compulsion or force. It's always by word. A word of truth communicated with gentleness and with respect. Thanks for tuning in.